You know, I had heard that it gets slow in January for the gig economy, and now I can tell you from my experience based off of my January earnings, it's true. It does slow down in January. So in this video, I'm gonna give you three tips that you as a gig economy driver can do. And that counts for food delivery, ride share, and others that you may think of. So I'm gonna give you three tips on how you can improve your earnings and deal with the slowness. And for those of us in California, I'm gonna give you a fourth bonus tip as well. All right, so the first tip, Wow, that sun is bright. You know what? Southern California is awesome. It's sunny in the winter too. So that first tip, research your area of all the restaurants and all the main places that customers live. And then you know this is gonna be a busy area. Come up with several of those in the town where you live and even in nearby towns so that you have options. Anytime it's slow or busy, then you can go to a certain area. If it's not busy there, go to another area. In times of slowness, this is critical. Please believe me. I'll get to driving your car next, but I've had a couple times during January when I just sat there, because I was like, come on, there's gotta be another order. If I just wait more, there'll be another order. And you know what? There wasn't. And I should have driven to the next area even though it was a little bit far away in order to figure out if there were orders there. So do that. If it's slow in one area, wait a certain time period. That's only something you can figure out how long, say 15, 20 minutes, go to your next area and then keep going until you get an order. This way you're not just sitting around. My second tip for drivers, you have to realize that when it's slow, that means it's slow. Don't be picky. If an order comes in, yeah, you need to lower your criteria. Don't give up your criteria, but as orders come in, if it's halfway not terrible, you really should consider taking it. As an example, I went to an area kind of far away from me to a busy Costco, and the first order that came in, it was $55. If I remember, it was 15 miles north, and so I'd have to come back 15 miles but it was $55. Do you know that I sat at that Costco for an hour declining orders that were terrible and I made no money? Shame on me. I should have taken that $55 order. So don't assume just cause, ah, eh, there's some orders that seem okay. I'll let them go and get a good one. That may not be the case. So please take orders as they come. It's better to be busy instead of making no money at all. And that brings up another aspect of this. Do you know that our cars, they're a tool to help us make money? Yes, I do wanna protect my car. I don't wanna put a ton of miles on it. And normally when it's, when it's quite busy, I don't have to worry about that. I can try to get $2 per mile. Worst case, you know, it does average out to like a dollar per mile. But when it's slow, you need to realize that this is the time that your car is there to serve you. And so go ahead and put some miles on it because if you've got bills to pay, which I do too, and I imagine you do as well, it's better to earn some money when it's slow. So keep this in mind. Using your car is okay. It's short term, it's not forever. And also don't be too selective on the orders that you accept because there's not many of them. The third tip for all gig economy drivers, multi-app. If you're only on one platform, what happens if it freezes up or goes down? What happens if you get deactivated? There's a lot of what ifs. So don't take that chance. Be on many different apps and start off slowly. Learn one, get proficient at it, then add another one to the mix. By adding more apps, you're gonna have more options. And yeah, you may not get orders on one, it may come from another. But if you're not on those apps to begin with, then you're not gonna make any money at all, and that'll be sad. On my channel, I realize that most of us live across the US. California is specific, so this fourth tip really only applies to us in California because of Prop 22. And I really don't consider Prop 22 when I'm doing deliveries and I need to, especially when it's slow. Here in California, we do get extra money from Prop 22 for mileage and time. So if I wanna take an order that maybe wouldn't be the best, 
the makeup for that is going to come with Prop 22 if I'm not getting money and tips. I need to remember that as well. And you know what? This January, I didn't do that. I stuck to my regular criteria and I suffered for it. I only made 60% of what I normally earn. So I can tell you from my experience doing food delivery part-time, I only made 60% of what I normally make each month and it hurts. So I can verify to you that January is slow. California drivers, you can consider taking no tip orders or very low tip orders or higher mileage orders when it's slow because Prop 22 will pay that difference. Now, don't do this all the time. That's my personal opinion. You can do what you like. I am happy that I get to bring you this information wrapping up January. I'm looking forward to it being busier. My name is Russ. Please do like the channel and like this video. Up next, have you considered the impacts, the potential hazards of driving when it's bad weather? So I'm going to play this video for you next and please check it out. And also, I've gone back through some of my older videos. Look at my shorts playlist. I've condensed several of the older videos just down to the key facts for your education and enjoyment as well. All right, everybody. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.